Ida Ice Learning Center Air Handling Units There are a number of pre-specified air handling units included in the software. Here we're going to be viewing the air handling unit which the program automatically includes into the model as a default. To view the data associated with an air handling unit, we're clicking onto the icon in the general tab. Here we can see that a standard air handling unit contains a heat exchanger, a heating coil and a cooling coil. There are also two fans, one in the exhaust and one in the supply air stream. In the standard air handling unit there are three different ways how the user can specify the temperature of the supply air. The first option is the definition of a set point for the supply temperature. In this particular case we're setting this to 16 degrees. There will however also be a temperature increase due to the fan in the supply air stream. The second option is the specification of a temperature schedule. Finally, the user can also specify that supply air temperature will be a function of the climate data which is specified in the climate file. In this area we are specifying a schedule for the fan operation. For every zone we've specified a supply and extract air rate. The schedule will however specify during which period this air will be supplied to the zone. If we have different zones with different ventilation strategies we need to specify a number of air handling units. There are different ways how the air supply to a zone can be controlled. The fans can either meet the fresh air requirements of the zone. The fresh air requirements can be multiplied or completely turned off. We are now going to associate a certain schedule with the operation of the fans. We are searching in the database and we are selecting the item fans on from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the evening. Here we can view the schedule. The fans are only operating during the weekdays from Monday to Friday and they're not in operation on set in on Sunday. When having a look at the diagram of an air handling unit we can see that there are links between its different components. Through these links properties such as temperature or moisture content are transferred between the different components. In addition to temperature control the cooling coil can also be used for humidity control. It removes moisture from the air if the surface temperature of the coil is below the dew point temperature of the air which passes over the coil. There is no capacity associated with the standard air handling unit. There are however other air handling units which have restrictions in their capacity, if this is more appropriate for the simulation study which is carried out. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to help and process guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under help, you will also find our getting started guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under events, there you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.